What's going on everybody? This is AZ Sports Cards back at it and today is night three of trying to find an autograph from 1992 Minor League. Let's go! All right, so night three, we did this whole side, no luck for an autograph, uh, but I'm still hopeful. We got, what is it, 18 packs left to go, so we are going to try our best and pull a Nolan Ryan, a Ken Griffey, uh, or a third alternative player for an autograph. It does say there's 12,000 randomly inserted. Um, we will see. Why not us, right? These autographs can go for a pretty penny. Let me just clear off my. There we go. I, gotta do... I don't know how to clean this. Probably just wipe it off with something. But uh, these can go for a pretty penny. Uh, there's some really good cards out there that are autographed. Don't see them come up a lot, so we're definitely going to try our best. We have some good superstars, some minor league guys. So hopefully tonight is the night we pull something special. All right. Should be coming out on Wednesday. So. Middle of the week. Bob Abreu. Bobby Abreu. That's pretty cool. That's a good card. We have not pulled any Bobby Abreu cards yet. Looking for an autograph. I don't know if it's going to be backwards. I don't know if it's just going to be on the cover. Brian Cornelius. Archie Corbin. Curtis Shaw. Looking for any huge names. I don't know. Some name, some name just popped up in my head. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know if um, Patrick Mahomes' dad is in this set or not. But I love the boxes. These boxes definitely preserve the cards really well. Um, being, you know, 90s. So probably 30, 30-something years old. Nigel Wilson. Brian Warren. Hugh Walker. Looking for an autograph. That'd be great. There's one huge superstar we had not pulled yet. Hopefully he's in this side. Steve Du Bois. Michael Lewis. Hope I'm having a fantastic week. Uh, just because of the snow that hit over the weekend. And apparently there was some snow that was supposed to be coming Tuesday night. I'm filming this all in one go, one day. Just so I can edit it and put them out all throughout the week. But hopefully there is some snow that came on Tuesday and then gave me a snow day. Which I, as a teacher, am always a fan of a snow day. I always argue some teachers love snow days more than the kids love snow days. Scott Stahovic. Another name that's really hard to pronounce. John Kelly. Alan Battle. Here we go. Garrett Anderson, recognizable name there. I don't know. Recognizable names and known names, way different. I recognize that name. He might be a superstar. He might not. Um, he might be a traveler, some type of, or just you know, some player that I've seen so many times they are recognizable. As of, I was not born yet in 1992. Did not grow up with these players. So a lot of my understanding of them comes from you know other videos or just you know people talking about them through you know through just conversations james bishop jason mcfarlane looking for an auto they're really hard to find apparently looking for at least one out of the 36 packs zablini jason Townal, Townal, Danny Young, Mike Edwards, Frank Rodriguez. I would say filming all these packs in one night makes me fatigued, but it really doesn't. I enjoy opening these packs with the chase. The chase is always fun, uh, even though I wish it said one guaranteed autograph per box. That would be great, but I know how mashly they produce these cards. Kevin Morgan. Phil Dofflin, Tim Cost Costo, 
Hey, Carlos Delgado, another big name player that I did not know was in the set. Carlos Delgado, beautiful. Last played in Syracuse. I think Carlos Delgado is a 92, 92 Bowman rookie. So that's probably a rookie card. That's really nice. Wish it was an autograph, at least. Uh, I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame, but I think he has a good case for it. So hopefully someday. There's a lot of players out there right now who have a good case. But I don't know how the scheduling for the Hall of Fame goes or, like, what do you need to get in the Hall of Fame? I, mean, I know they vote, but who makes the parameters? It's just this random old guys just voting on people to get in the Hall of Fame. And I know more, like, every year there's another qualified care, uh, player, but are they at the end of the list? Do they jump the list? How, does it matter how big of a superstar they are? Because I think Derek Jeter, you know, or uh, what's Mario... Uh, Rivera, as soon as he retired, jumped the list. So, no clue. Don't know how the system goes. I'll have to look more into it. Lance Jennings. We're about three packs left to go tonight. Rondo White. Mike Durant. Frank Jacobs. Not an autograph yet. We are going to stay positive. And it's probably, knowing our last pack magic, going to be the last card of the box. It's going to be a Nolan Ryan autograph, and we're going to be really excited. Just, I have to worry about being too excited. I don't damage the card. I have to sleeve it up, and I have a one-touch really close. I have tons of one-touches because I don't like them. David Morrow. Maori. Maori. Burroughs. Farmer, Pat Bryant. That'd be cool. I love the pictures of this. Really classic feel to him. Manny Martinez. Keep going. Brooke Fordyce. And a Chris Durkin. So it's so crazy how many of these minor league players never get a chance or never pan out. But that's just the farm system. That's why it's easier for me to collect rookies in the NFL or, I mean, even the NBA to a lesser degree. But because NFL rookies, there is no minor league for them. They have practice teams and whatever. But when you get drafted to the NFL, you immediately are in the, you're in it. I mean, you're playing against other professionals instantly. You don't have a couple years to just play on the practice squad. Cruz, Hyatt, Jason Wood, looking for an autograph. Ah, Alan Newman has a little... A little, a little chew in his back pocket. Crazy. Orlando Miller. Looking at Damian Bufford. Buford? I think it's Buford. And then a Joey Hamilton. All right. Last pack uh, for this evening. This is pack 27 overall, if you've been counting. We are 0 for 27 on autographs. Uh, the, I mean, we came in this knowing the odds, but don't tell me the odds. I don't want, we, we don't need the odds. Okay, we'll define the odds. Ryan camera. And this pack is so hard to open. It's, I have a good, have a good intuition about this pack. Come on. Marcus Hanel. Chris Sealbatch. That's not see, Sealbach. I, I don't know. Here we go. Another checklist. I don't think we had that one. We probably did. I don't know. I don't think so. I think we ran all the cards. It's getting the perfect set. I don't know how much the set goes for. Larry Thomas. Joe Vitko. Mike Ro Ross Rossiteller. Rosateller. Hey, Jim Edmonds. I like Jim Edmonds. That's a good player to get. I think his rookie was 92. So, cool. Nice Jim Edmonds rookie card. That would have been a cool rookie to pull. Is he a Hall of Famer? He might be a Hall of Famer. Gary Moda. And then our last card for tonight is a Lance Painter. So let's take a look at some cool cards we actually pulled. Uh, Jim Edmonds, really nice. Carlos Delgado. Gary Anderson and a Bobby Abreu. So, it might be the same Bobby Abreu from... I don't know. I don't think it's the same. I think it's a different Bob Abreu because I don't think he came in 1986. 
I'll have to do some research on that, but I don't think so. Because that, that means he was really old when he got in. I think he got started playing in 1998. But that might be a different Bob Abreu. But anyways, pack or night number three is down. We have, let's see, nine packs to go. And we will go through this and try our best to pull that autograph. I believe, without a doubt in my mind, there is an autograph in this stack of cards. And we'll have to wait till Thursday to try it out. But anyways, that is it for tonight. Thank you all for watching. This has been AZ Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.